Hey guys, welcome back to the 4-1 Week. Today we're going to talk about part 3 and how to speed up a Windows PC. Now this next part I'm going to talk about, you've probably heard time and time again and you probably see it on your computer all the time and you never really worry about it, and that is Windows Update. So Windows itself, whether it's XP, Vista 7, or even 8, comes out with service packs or patches or bug fixes that make Windows as a whole work better together with other programs that are installed on your computer. Now to update or to get all of those updates, it's very simple to do. All you have to do is run the program that's installed on Windows called Windows Update. There's two ways to get to it. Just like anything else in the Windows Start option, we could just simply type Windows Update and it'll be the first thing at the top. Or within Windows XP Vista 7 or 8, we could just click All Programs. And at the top of this list, though before all the folders start, it just says Windows Update. So in here, the first thing you always want to do is make sure you select check for updates. You have to be connected to the internet to run this program. And all it's going to do is it's going to go out and hit Microsoft servers and communicate with your PC and make sure you have the most frequent up to date pro, uh, programs or drivers or whatever you may have that Windows is spitting out to your machine. What is going to show up for my machine is going to be different for yours. And it's going to be different if you have even three different computers. Now there are multiple updates that are sent out to every Windows machine that's going to be the same for everybody. So to explain those a little bit more, I'm just going to click one optional update. Now over here, I do not have a tab that says important. If I had a tab that says important, those are updates that's coming from Microsoft specifically for Windows operating system that I definitely want to make sure I do. Under optional, it's going to include things like updates for programs that's on my computer, but I don't have to have to make Windows functional. So for instance, right here you see Microsoft Security Essentials. I could check that and then come down here and click OK and it's going to update. Generally it's going to do this in the background. My suggestion is, depending on how many files you have to update, you want to make sure you're not doing anything else and just leave your computer alone and it'll take care of it on, the, on itself. It's going to restart a few times possibly depending on the update. As well as if you have any drivers. This could be video drivers, audio drivers, drivers for your mouse, your keyboard, things like that. Um, optional, my suggestion is if you know you want to update that particular piece of hardware or software on your computer, you definitely want to get it. If it's a piece of software or hardware on your computer you don't really use or you no longer have, you can uncheck the box and then you could right click on the update and select hide. And that way it's not going to keep showing up all the time. So I'm simply going to check the checkbox. I'm going to click OK. It's going to tell me I have one optional update to in available. If I click install, it's going to automatically go hit Microsoft servers again, download that file, and then install it. Now this file was a little bit small, so it really didn't take that much time. And you can see down here it says downloading and installing updates. So it's successfully installed. I could go over here, click check for updates again. And it's good practice to keep checking even after you've installed because one update may prompt for a second update. So you just saw that was a definition for Microsoft Security Essentials. If that definition update was a prerequisite for another update, I would want to come make sure definitely that I don't have any out there that's lingering for to be installed again. And again, those wouldn't show up because I did not have the prerequisite for that update. So we're going to click check for updates again, let it sit for a minute. Again, it's just hitting the servers to make sure we have everything that's needed for this machine. All right, now if you are like me and you don't really think to do this or you might not have time every day just to come check, and I say every day, it could be once a week, it could be once a month. Again, I would want to do this pretty frequently depending on how often you're using your machine. Um, we could go over here to change settings. And under change settings, I'm going to get a few options for Windows Update. So I can choose how Windows is going to get these updates. So I have right now install updates automatically. And again, I didn't have a lot that were ready to install because in some cases, it's going to let me choose when to install them or download them. But I get four main options to choose from. I could say never check for updates, and this is automatically, so Windows is going to be doing this in the background. If I choose never check for updates, I'm going to have to make sure I go do it myself. If I check for updates but let me choose when to download them and install them, Windows will just pop up in the bottom right corner like you just saw a second ago, and it's going to say, hey, we have some updates ready to be downloaded then I would go to there, it would bring me to the Windows Update, and then I could click Download. 
And then when they get done downloading, it'll pop up again and say, hey, you have updates ready to be installed. And then I could click install and we would do the same process you just saw. Or I could choose download them, but let me choose whether to install them. And actually that's what I had chose. Um, so that update was actually already downloaded and I just clicked install and it installed it. And I could also choose install updates automatically. Now you could choose when to do this. And for instance, I say every day at 3 a.m. Well, if my computer's turned off at 3 a.m., it's obviously not gonna do it then. It'll just hit the servers the next time I turn my computer on, the next morning, the next day, even if I leave it off for a week. The next time I turn it on, it's gonna go check. Um, I could say give me updates the same way I receive important updates. And what that means is that the recommended ones will pop up in the corner just like the important ones. Um, you may or may not wanna do that. That's totally up to you. If you have multiple users on your computer, you can choose who gets to install them. And then for Microsoft, you could say, give me updates for Microsoft products when I update Windows. So if I had a Microsoft product installed like Office or Visio or Expressions or something like that, and if you don't know what those are, that's perfectly okay. But any Microsoft product other than Windows, it would send me the notifications for. And this is notifications for Microsoft software when it's available. So again, you can change these to your liking. Personally, I like to choose check, but let me choose whether to download them, install them. And I say yes, give me the recommended because sometimes there might be a video driver or something for my computer specifically that I'm not aware of. So that way they'll pop up and let me know I have something important for my computer I need to go download and install. So we'll simply just click OK. And again, you see the little shield so we know what we're an administrator and we have the privilege to do that. Um, if you had any other issues with updates, you would come over here to view your update history and undo an update that you've done or restore hidden updates. And again, you could again click check for updates. Make sure we don't have any that may have got passed over or looked over just a second ago. Um, if you have any questions about Windows Update, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help. Again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.